One common way that a lot of people like to check and see how they're doing on their uh, ketogenic diet is to actually use the ketone, uh, ketone test strips. You can get these at like Walmart, Walgreens, uh, anything like that. They're going to be probably be in the diabetic section. Although I've actually noticed this says on the label now um, something to the effect of uh, for low carb dieters, diabetics and low carb dieters. So they've actually kind of taken it into consideration that people are using it for their diet too. But generally what it is, they're urine test strips. So you you tinkle <laughs> you tinkle on them um, and it just has a it just has the little tab on the end that actually is like a tan color uh, before you urinate on them and then the bottle will have a little chart and so the tan will be this one it'll be the first one that's um, you know that's that's how they come and also like if you urinate on the strip and it stays that way that means that it's, there's no ketones in your urine um, and I suggest like right off the bat as soon as you get them just to test just to make sure that it comes up as tan like that uh, you know and it matches showing no ketones in your urine and then that way you know one you know you don't have uh, already for some reason, like whether it's diabetes or whatever that you're, you know, you're not already producing excessive ketones because then this will not be accurate uh, in your case. And actually it's, it's not the most accurate test because of the simple fact that you're not really worried about urinating out ketones. You're worried more about ketones in your blood, in your bloodstream, in your blood. So, you know this is just a good sign um, and a normal person will not have you know will not have excessive ketones in their urine so doing this like I said if everything's just you know everything's running like it should as far as your health is concerned then it, it's a pretty good it's a definite good sign that you're in ketosis because you're creating more cre uh, more ketones than your body can use um, and then some people have said wait I've, I've heard people say a week or two weeks. I tested mine within three days and I got um, where it says trace amounts. It's, you know, you've got your no, you know, negative and then you've got your first one there, it's trace amounts. That, that, that color showed up after the third morning. So I'd been on ketosis for, or, you know, been on the ketogenic diet for two days. That third morning I tested and it come into trace amounts. Now one thing, you'll notice that there's you know it graduates darker and darker and darker <clears throat> and i would i would say and from what i've read and from what i've seen in my own experience um these first three generally these first three are actually where you want to be um these other two the two real dark ones there's two dark there's like a purple and a really dark purple um you know you're gonna want this you know you might have this idea it's like man i gotta get up there really that's not a good sign that actually is probably a better sign that you're dehydrated you're in ketosis but you're also dehydrated um typically you know uh, you'd want to stay within these three to where it's slight you know trace slight or moderate because once you get up to the large or extreme or severe or whatever that says um, then you're actually just dehydrated. So that's not your goal. Your goal would be somewhere in these three. If you're showing even trace amounts, that means that you have excessive ketones in your urine, and that means that you're producing more than your body can use. So therefore, it's a really good sign that you're in ketosis. Um, and these strips are cheap. Um, you know, it's like, uh, I think this is 50. It was like $6 and something. There's other tests out there. There's like a, kind of like a glucose meter exactly like a diabetic glucose meter uh, but they're like dual purpose and they actually sell ketone strips but they're pretty expensive i mean they could be anywhere from you know four or five dollars a test to, i've heard people saying that some of them won't don't work well so it may take two or three tries and they end up costing them ten dollars just to test their blood sugar or just to test the ketone you know the level to see if they have uh, ketones in their blood um, but anyway, this is a pretty quick and, and dirty way to just kind of uh, see if you're on the right track. It's um, kind of uh, assuring 
point once it changes color you, you feel like you're on the right track but again right off the bat I would test and just make sure uh, one that's going to give you that little bit more peace of mind to see the color change from not positive to positive for ketones in your urine uh, and two it's just going to make sure that you're not you know some people are um, you know, a type one diabetic or, or whatever their body's trying to use fat as an energy already because of some type of ailment. So check it right out of the box, you know, first day, um, just check it and make sure that you just, you're not showing any levels of ketones in your urine. And then after that, like I said, for me, it was three days. Some people say wait a week or two so you don't get disheartened. But honestly, everything I've heard is it takes about as long as you're you know strict with your diet it takes about three days you know to go you know to start using ketones or you know at least um at least uh producing more ketones than you you use so but anyway um that's it for now guys stay strong and i'll talk to you soon